Britannia Industries Limited is an Indian food products corporation headquartered in Kolkata, West Bengal. It sells its Britannia and Tiger brands of biscuits, breads and dairy products throughout India and in more than 60 countries across the globe. Britannia has an estimated market share of 38%. The company's principal activity is the manufacture and sale of biscuits, bread, rusk, cakes and dairy products. The company was established in 1892 with an investment of 265 rupees. Initially, biscuits were manufactured in a small house in central Kolkata. Later, the enterprise was acquired by the Gupta brothers, mainly Nail and Chandra Gupta, an attorney, and operated under VK Brothers. Quote, in 1918, C. H. Holmes, an English businessman in Kolkata, was taken on as a partner and the Britannia Biscuit Company Limited was launched. The Mumbai factory was set up in 1924 and Peak Freens UK, acquired a controlling interest in BBCO. Biscuits were in high demand during World War II, which gave a boost to the company's sales. The company name was changed to the current. Britannia Industries Limited in 1979. In 1982 the American company Nabisco Brands, Inc. acquired the parent of Peak Freens and became a major foreign shareholder. The Biscuit King Kerala businessman Rajan Palai secured control of the group in the late 1980s, becoming known in India as the Biscuit Raja. In 1993, the Wadia Group acquired a stake in Associated Biscuits International ABIL, and became an equal partner with Group Dannon in Britannia Industries Limited. In what the Economic Times referred to as one of India's most dramatic corporate sagas, Palai ceded control to Wadia and Dannon after a bitter boardroom struggle, then fled his Singapore base to India in 1995 after accusations of defrauding Britannia, and died the same year in Tihar jail. <laughs> Wadia and Dannon The Wadia's Kalabakan Investments and Group Dannon had two equal joint venture companies, Wadia BSN and United Kingdom Registered Associated Biscuits International Holdings Limited, which together held a 51% stake in Britannia. The ABIH tranche was acquired in 1992, while the controlling stake held by Wadia BSN was acquired in 1995. It was agreed that, in case of a deadlock between the partners, Dannon was obliged to buy the Wadia BSN stake at a Fair market value. ABIH had a separate agreement signed in 1992 and was subject to British law. Wadia was to be Dannon's wife's partner in the food and dairy business, and product launches from Group Dannon's were expected but never materialised despite the JV being in existence for over 11 years in India. Under the 1995 joint venture agreement, Dannon is prohibited from launching food brands within India without the consent of the Wadias. In addition, the partners agreed there would be the right of first refusal to buy out the remaining partner in the event of the other wishing to sell its holding. In May 2007, Nuzli Wadia told the Ministry of Commerce and Industry that Dannon invested in a Bangalore based bio nutrition company, Avasthagen, in October 2006 in violation of the government's Press Note 1, 2005, which requires a foreign company to obtain the consent of its Indian joint venture partner before pursuing an independent business in a similar area, including joint venture ventures based purely on technical collaboration. Dannon argued that Press Note 1 did not apply to it as it did not have a formal technology transfer or trademark agreement with Avasthagen, and that its 25% holding in Britannia was indirect. Wadia also filed a case in the Bombay High Court for a breach of a non-competition clause in that connection. The court ordered Dannon not to alienate, encumber, or sell shares of Avasthagen. In September 2007, the Foreign Investment Promotion Board of India rejected Dannon's claims that it did not need a non compete waiver from the Wadias to enter into business in India alone. In June 2006, Wadia claimed Dannon had used the Tiger brand to launch biscuits in Bangalore. After a prolonged legal battle, Dannon agreed to sell its 25.48% stake in Britannia to Layla Lands, which is a Wadia Group entity based in Mauritius, and quit this line of business. The deal was valued at $175 minus 200 Minnesota. With this buyout, Wadia holds a majority stake of 50.96%. <laughs> Growth and profitability 
Between 1998 and 2001, the company's sales grew at a compound annual rate of 16% against the market, and operating profits reached 18%. More recently, the company has been growing at 27% a year, compared to the industry's growth rate of 20%. At present, 90% of Britannia's annual revenue of Rs 22 billion rupees comes from biscuits. Bhavyachuk became a millionaire at that time. And the changes were worth waiting. Britannia is one of India's 100 most trusted brands listed in the Brand Trust Report. Topic Business Topic Dairy Products Dairy products contribute close to ten per cent to Britannia's revenue. Britannia trades and markets dairy products, and its dairy portfolio grew to forty seven per cent in two thousand one and by thirty per cent in two thousand one oh two. Britannia holds an equity stake in Dynamics Dairy and outsources the bulk of its dairy products from its associate. Its main competitors are Nestlé India, the National Dairy Development Board (NDDB), and Amul (GCMMF). Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Joint venture with New Zealand Dairy. On 27 October 2001, Britannia announced a joint venture with Fonterra Cooperative Group of New Zealand, an integrated dairy company from procurement of milk to making value-added products such as cheese and buttermilk. Britannia planned to source most of the products from New Zealand, which they would market in India. The joint venture will allow technology transfer to Britannia. Britannia and New Zealand Dairy each hold 49% of the JV, and the remaining 2% will be held by a strategic investor. Britannia has also tentatively announced that its dairy business would be transferred and run by the joint venture. The authority's approval to the joint venture obliged the company to start manufacturing facilities of its own. It would not be allowed to trade, except at the wholesale level, thus pitching it in competition with Danon, which had recently established its own dairy business. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Biscuits. The company's factories have an annual capacity of 433,000 tons. The brand names of biscuits include Vitamary Gold, Tiger, NutriChoice Junior, Good Day, 5050 Treat, Pure Magic, Milk Bikis, Good Morning, Bourbon, Thin Arrowroot, Nice, Little Hearts among others. Tiger, the mass market brand, realized $150.75 million in sales including exports to countries including the US and Australia, or 20% of Britannia revenues in 2006. In a separate dispute from the shareholder matters, the company alleged in 2006 that Dannon had violated its intellectual property rights in the Tiger brand by registering and using Tiger in several countries without its consent. Britannia claimed the company found out that Danon had launched the Tiger brand in Indonesia in 1998, and later in Malaysia, Singapore, Pakistan and Egypt, when it attempted to register the Tiger trademark in some of these countries in 2004. Whilst it was initially reported in December 2006 that agreement had been reached, it was reported in September 2007 that a solution remained elusive. In the meantime since Danon's biscuit business has been taken over by Kraft, the Tiger brand of biscuits in Malaysia was renamed Kraft Tiger Biscuits in September 2008. Britannia initiated legal action against Danon in Singapore in September 2007. The dispute was resolved in 2009 with Britannia securing rights to the Tiger brand worldwide, and Danon paying Rs 220 million rupees to utilize the brand. Topic. Sponsorship Indian Super League 2018–present Topic. See also Pal Products Wahaha Joint Venture Company